My name is Lerato Sibiso. I'm a mother of two kids, and I'm here because I'm HIV positive. They take care of me medically. I go to hospital, and I stay here, and my kids go to school, and I'm happy. I don't want to be anywhere. I'm okay. This is the best place for me and my kids. And what makes them happy it is what makes me happy. One may not hear so much about HIV AIDS anymore nowadays, but the disease is still incurable. And despite a major rollout of ARVs, people like Leratu may not have had any place to go if it wasn't for a home like Nkosi's Haven. Nkosi Johnson's foster mother started Nkosi's Haven because of him. When his mum passed away, the first thing he said to me was, Mummy never said goodbye to me. And I thought so wrong that a child is separated from his mum because of the HIV diagnosis. So I said to him, should we start something for mums and kids? And he said yes, although now there is life with antiretroviral rollout, there are still so many vulnerable women. So to keep a mom and child unit together, we do the necessary to ensure that that unit is healthy. But I've got moms here who are mentally challenged, who have had strokes um, because of being HIV positive. And those kind of women, where do they go? So we, we want to be a community of mums and kids to give them a lifestyle, to build their confidence and to make them feel worthwhile. It changed our lives because I felt important. I felt that I mattered. I felt like a human being and I felt as a mother. I still felt coming here to start me feeling like a mother to my kids. For me being here, it is, it's been very important. The future for my children, a very good impact, because they are given everything. It's all up to them for the ease, whether they take it and use it wisely, or they take it and abuse it. It's all up to them, but they have it. Donations cover Nkosi's Haven village and a farm outside for Enigang's running costs. All physical and psychological medical needs of residents are taken care of. Just as important is the educational and social development of the children. We take our children through to the end of tertiary if they've got the academic ability to go to university or college. But assistance from volunteers is also most welcome. We teach uh, the kids in the morning and we're playing with the kids in, uh, in our library and we, we're uh, entertaining them and the, we, when they have problems they can come to us and uh, so I really love it to live here. My experience till now is that it's very incredible how happy those kids are, except of being that ill. No, absolutely we need local volunteers, but we need lots of support with maths, science, business economics and, and accounting. Um, but also, you know, we would love some, some people to come and fetch our boys and take them to a professional soccer match or rugby. There are developments addressing the HIV AIDS pandemic, but unfortunately, Many people are still suffering and many more will suffer in future. For them, places like Nkosi's Haven provides some refuge. Marisa de Clark, Joburg Today.